Hey guys, in today's video we are going to be talking about what to expect after lumbar surgery. She looks good. I kind of look like Rudolph. <laughs> and they always have that. Rebecca? Yes. Oh. I still look like Rudolph. Are you filming? I'm filming. No, I'm scared. All right, so I feel like I've just been beaten up. My name is Rebecca Meyer, and for the last six months, I have been suffering from chronic pain due to a herniated disc. Um, I am super excited today to say that I am officially in the recovery um, recovery zone. Uh, I know it's really, really early to tell, but uh, just a few days ago, I did have a, a type of lumbar surgery. I had a laminectomy and a disectomy. Um, and basically, what that has done was completely relieve my, uh, my sciatica. Um, and for those of you that have had sciatica, then um, you may know the feeling of wanting to perhaps chop off your leg with a chainsaw or um, maybe think uh, there's no more life that, that can be done because of the pain. Um, it's, it's all encompassing and, um, and unfortunately it can take away a lot, uh, a lot of aspects of your life. So today I thought I would talk about um, the recovery stage for, for myself. Again, I'm just a few days away from surgery, um, so I just thought I'd go over a few things about what you can expect. So right out of the operating room and into the uh, first recovery room, um, I was begging and pleading for, uh, for painkillers. The incision uh, that is done actually on your back, it, it hurts. I mean, there, there's no other words for it uh, except that it hurts. And as I was having dinner the, the night after surgery, as I'm, as I'm sitting there, I'm like, why weren't they giving me pain meds? I don't even understand this. How can a hospital not give you pain meds? Are, now I am gonna say that did give me like a very minuscule amount, but nothing to actually quell the pain. And I'm like, why did I do this? Oh my God, what, what have I done? Because this incision pain, it hurts. Um, what I came to realize after I had an epiphany, I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. I know why they weren't giving me pain meds. Now let me preface this. Um, I'm not making any judgments. I have a tattoo on my back. There was a, an extremely wild time in my life. I'm 43 years old, so I'm, I'm middle age. Um, but when I was really young, 18, 19, 20, 21, um, I, well, let's just say I went off the deep end a little bit and, and maybe I, I did use things that I, I shouldn't have been doing. Um, however, I did get a tattoo, which of course my mother flipped out about, um, which is a nice uh, symbol of the, the AA symbol for uh, Alcoholics Anonymous. And I was like, this is the whole reason why they weren't giving me meds. Uh, I did make it through that recovery stage uh, in that particular room. What I had to do though was to completely calm myself down. So I went and I meditated while I was in there to like get that heart rate down, get that heart rate down. And then finally, as I'm staring at the heart rate, I do see it start to drop and I keep looking at the nurse. I'm like, I can get out of here, right? I can get out of here, right? Because all I wanted to do was just get to my mom, get to my stepdad, get out that door, get home and just let me have like some meds because man, this hurts. What I first noticed right off the bat though is sitting, laying down and uh, vice versa doing those things is extremely, extremely difficult. Uh, the, the pain that, that happens on the incision, is it, it just sucks. So it's just a lot of pressure right there anytime that you're getting up and down. So you might have noticed in my previous video I had some um, things that uh, I thought would be essential for, um, for recovery. But um, I did miss one thing that my mother was actually able to get me the other day, and it, it's just a cane. Um, and this simple cane is great because I can just set it down. I don't use it to walk with, but I do use it to, um, to assist in getting me up. So I definitely, definitely um, would highly recommend having a cane. Another thing you might notice uh, right after the surgery is that you'll become very bloated. Um, 
If you had general anesthesia, then you will tend to get um, very bloated because of all the gas that's been going into your body. Um, it also is not good for your, for your bowel movements. Did you just soil yourself? Maybe. <laughs> it did sound a little wet, didn't it? Right at the end. Ooh. <laughs> Let's have a smell, all right? Ooh, wafting, wafting. Oh, everyone likes their own brand, don't they? This is magic. Um, so you do want to make sure that you're either taking um, like a laxative or doing a prune juice or like me doing both because um, I am trying to stay on top of it. Now, one of the things I wish I had done prior to surgery was practicing roll like a log. Uh, that's definitely something you want to be very good at prior to surgery. What I realized after getting in and out of bed multiple times was that uh, I was doing the whole roll like a log incorrectly, um, and it actually needed more speed in, in order for it to be effective. Now, it's really important to have a, a helper or somebody helping you. I don't honestly know how... I could do what I'm doing without the assistance of the help from my, my mother and my stepfather. Really? Again? I was just in there. I, there's just, just absolutely no way. Now the big question is, how do you feel? The biggest thing I can say is my sciatica is completely gone. Like completely, completely, there is no more sciatica. Um, it's like someone just like turned off a light switch and, and that pain just completely went away. So for anyone that's have nerve uh, pain, then, then you know it's, it's by far the worst pain uh, known to man. I do have incision pain or surgery pain, um, but each day that's improving quite a bit. When I initially got out of the hospital, my toes and my heel um, on, the, on the side where I had the sciatica were completely numb. My toes have actually kind of come back to life as far as feeling. My heel is slowly coming back, but we still have some room to work on that as far as the numbness goes. Uh, and then of course, just the incision pain uh, and whatever went on <laughs> inside, inside that incision. Um, but again, nowhere near to the amount of pain uh, as, as the sciatica. Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, let me know below in the, in the comments section. And uh, again, it was very nice to see you. Thanks again for stopping by.